Hello crafters, I'm coming in this morning with a new project that I designed for Pear Tree Treasures and Monica is the owner and I absolutely loved working with this paper collection. It is so stinking cute. Um, this is Fun Stamper's Journey, Create and Bloom Prints and you get 24 double-sided sheets. So that's a lot and um, I really love it. So anyway, I'm going to put this aside. Just to let you know, if you want to purchase this kit and um, there is a tutorial, I also um, created some stuff which I'm about to show you that will be included in with the kit, okay? So, let me share this with you. I made a eight and a half by eight and a half folio. Now, I created this little kite shaker and this is a cutting file that um, I sent to Monica so that will be included in there as well. I do have a short tutorial on how to put this together. It is super simple and um, I just love, I just had some shaker stuff, you know, some little seed beads and some spring um, colored shakers and put it together and these are the gems from the collection I also added in the little bow um, the little bow ties as well into the file just so you know um, this is just one of my magnolia files and these little leaves right here are from Cricut so you know if you have Cricut silhouette or any um, cutting machine um, those are available this is um, Cricut as well so I'm going to go through each one of these I guess I need to glue this on a little bit more but <laughs> I did glue it um, but anyway um, and then this is little a little bow from my stash and then this is this cute little hello from the collection so you will get this die in this kit and all I did was I put it um, I actually cut it with the yellow cardstock that comes with the kit right and then underneath I had some pink cardstock and all I did was offset it a smidge I don't know if y'all can see that um, probably not it's kind of really hard to tell but it's there and um, then I just used one of the tags from the collection so I think it turned out really cute um, I didn't really decorate um, the size and um, I normally don't decorate the back at all but anyway um, let's get on into it so you have this really large pocket I also um, used the embossing folders and I think it turned out so cute look at that love it so you have your raised impression and then you have um, the opposite right and then also here's the striped one so I decided to make these little journaling cards um, I think my daughter's gonna give this to her friend for her birthday and then here's another one of the cut aparts a let's stick together I thought that was really cute oh and I wanted to share something with you so I don't know if you know this but these actually this little we are memory keepers punch it's the 10 millimeter seven millimeter and four millimeter um it fits perfectly for this particular card isn't that bizarre i don't know if they did it on purpose or what um but anyway this little trim right here is from the dollar tree super easy to get there and then here is another um sunny days um file from cricut okay so i was going to tell you the numbers now for which ones I used but my internet went out so I thought that was kind of crazy but anyway um, I will get those for you and have it in um, the description box down below then I also have a little you are my sunshine that I popped up and I used some of the extra bows that I cut from the kite that I made and um, I love the little gem here and then I did the little pop-up and of course this is in the tutorial as well I just love it and um, I cut out the little llama from one of the cut aparts and then um, I love the little look at you doing grown-up things and stuff I thought that was so cute um, and then we have a large Z fold okay and of course it's double-sided and um, I'm gonna flip this over so then we have um, the little um, foam stickers they're kind of like enamel foam uh, alphabets and this comes in the kit as well and I just put little chicks because that's what baby birds are called um, and then I made this as another file for you so um, you will get this as well 
This is We Go Together Like Peas and Carrots. I just love this thing from Forrest Gump. I think it's so stinking cute. So I thought I would just put it on here. And then I did leave a little um, spot to add the photos underneath. You know, like you know how sometimes at the top of the pictures you don't really look at that. But anyway, I just kind of left a little space there so a photo could be, you know, um, slid in there. And then... Right here, you have a large space to journal as well as add photos. Again, um, here's another one of the Cricut clouds. I thought that was so cute. Um, I actually cut uh, this out twice, once in blue and once in pink, so that I could get these little um, uh, cheeks on there because that didn't come with the cheeks. And I just thought, well, I'm going to add those on there because I love how that has that little doodlebug look. Oh, and um, no, I think this one actually did have a... Um, this did come in layers. Okay, I apologize. Anyway, and then I added another one of the tags here so that you could just use it as a little tuck spot. And again, you have a large area to put lots of photos. And then again, another little tuck spot. And I also made this really cute little um, belly band, kind of, it's like magnetic. Um, I used, again, the foam, enamel foam letters, sunshine. I thought that was cute. Um, and then you have this really large um, area to put photos and then journaling on the side. So that's why I did it that way. Um, but anyway, I just love how this turned out. Don't forget to visit Monica's website. I'll have everything down below for you. And um, I hope you all get a chance to use this kit because I think it's an awesome deal. I mean, the price is amazing. Um, it's basically a steal, seriously. So anyway, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous week. Guys, bye.